Hello everyone, I hope you are learning well. In this video, we will see how to draw planes from given Miller indices. Now, uh, here the Miller indices uh, are of all kind. The sets are of all kinds. For example, uh, the planes with all positive Miller indices, the planes with one of the index as negative. Okay, as we can see here, here the x index is negative, y index is negative, and here the z index is negative. In a case where two of the indices are negative, we can see here the x and z index is negative. The method will be clear. Uh, so I will see that if I will do another problem with, let's say, two uh, like that. Okay, so with x index negative and y index negative, so that the number one is not there, only uh, the other numbers are also there. So I'll do that also in a case with all of the Miller indices negative so this video will completely cover all kind of problems okay and the method that I will display here can be used for any kind of uh, Miller indices set that is given to you okay so first of all we'll do for the all positive case which is 0 1 and 2 uh, the video on how to find uh, the Miller indices of planes is also uploaded in English version as well as in Urdu and Hindi version so you can check out the playlist I have separately made the playlist uh, for the English version videos and also for the Urdu version videos so you can check it out in playlist section it will be more helpful to you to go there and get your uh, in, uh, desired video I have also uploaded a video where we have uh, drawn the directions from the given Miller indices that includes all kind of cases and the method that I illustrated here is very simple and can be used uh, for any kind of study that is given to you uh, and it will help you uh, to have a better understanding of uh, solving the problem that will help you to solve the problem so here the first one is 0 1 2 okay the Miller indices are given 0 1 and 2 and first of all what you have to do is to draw a cube if you have um, pens of different colors then it will be it will be better because you know uh, in 3d diagrams and in drawing the planes in directions if the different colors are used to uh, do different kinds of components inside a diagram then you can easily distinguish different components otherwise you will mix all of the lines so whenever all of the uh, indices are positive that case will be referred to as all positive case okay whenever i'll say all positive case then it means a case when all of the miller indices are positive so when all of the miller indices are positive then you will always take that one point as origin okay so if the uh, one of the index is negative or two of the index is negative or three of the index is negative you will have to shift the origin the position of the origin is always selected such that uh, the plane that we want to draw uh, will lie in a single unit cell okay and if you do not uh, shift the origin then the uh, process of drawing a plane will become complicated as multiple unit cells will be required to draw the plane okay so we don't want to complicate the process and we, and we want to draw the plane in a single unit cell and for that purpose uh, you have to shift the origin whenever uh, the indices becomes negative and I'll show the process uh, step by step okay so first of all let us do it for uh, the all positive case and for all positive case this is the all positive origin I'll call it as all positive origin so this is the origin and let us call this line uh, as x-axis okay and this line as y-axis and this line as the z-axis in drawing the planes and in finding out the Miller indices for the planes also uh, the axis lines are very important okay because we are interested in intercepts and intercepts are the point where the plane cuts the axis line okay so this will give us the x-intercept this will correspondingly help us to uh, find out the y-intercept and this one will give us the z-intercept so what we have to do is to find out the intercept and to find out the intercept to find out the intercepts of the plane 0 1 2 we, uh, we will take inverse of each of the index okay we'll take the inverse of each of the index so, uh, the indices are 0 1 and 2 okay taking inverse will give us an uh, intercepts so taking inverse of 0 will give us infinity taking inverse of 1 will give us 1 again and taking inverse of 2 will give us 1 by 2 all right so this is the x intercept and this is y intercept and this is the z intercept okay 
so first of all we'll focus on the intercepts which are not infinity okay the infinity cases are uh, considered at the end okay at last so first of all the y intercept is one which means uh, from origin to the other corner of the unit cell along the y direction which is this one point so this is the y intercept and let us uh, make it prominent okay with some other ball point are making a very uh, big dot so that it shows that it is one of the point on the plane okay this is the y intercept i have uh, drawn that point now the other intercept is z intercept which is half so from origin again okay um, in drawing the intercepts you always move starting from origin while in case of directions you move onwards from the point you left okay so uh, from origin again a uh, half unit along the z axis this whole length from one corner to the other corner of the unit cell is one and half of it is about here so this is the other point on the plane all right now uh, next thing is x intercept is infinity so x intercept is infinity how we'll do uh, deal with that is we will uh, draw a parallel line from each of these two points that we have found for the plane okay parallel lines from this um, these points along the x direction okay parallel to x direction we'll draw parallel lines uh, from this point so let us draw the parallel lines the direction is here okay so from this point parallel to x axis is this point to the other corner of the unit cell okay you will stop to the other corner of the unit cell which is now this point okay and again uh, also from this point we'll draw a parallel line uh, along the x direction which is this direction and up to there okay next one we have to join these four points together to form a closed figure so we'll join these two points together and these two points together and okay and this is the plane zero one two shade it like that okay so this is the plane zero one two all right so this is example that i am going to show you people because uh, sometimes students get confused when uh, this one plane comes in because if we take the inverse of these three million indices in order to get the intercepts for the plane then um, you get two infinities and one as one of the intercepts so how you will draw this plane okay so uh, we have a cube first okay we will first draw the cube since all of the miller indices are positive so we'll take this point as origin okay this is the x direction this is the y direction and this is the z direction all right so to find out the intercepts of the plane 1 0 0 will take the inverse of each of the index you will write it yourself and these are the three uh, indices we will write the operation that we are going to perform on these indices that is taking inverse uh, taking inverse and inverse of 1 is 1 inverse of 0 is infinity inverse of 0 is infinity again so this is the x prime intercept this is the y prime intercept and this is the z prime intercept it's because when you are finding the miller indices of a plane you take the inverse of the uh, original intercepts um, that are found for the plane so in order to find out the intercepts from the miller indices you will reverse the process which is to take the inverse again okay so this is the x prime intercept y prime is infinity and z prime is infinity again and uh, we deal with infinities at the end first of all we'll draw the um, intercept which is not infinity okay so that is the x prime intercept and if it would have been uh, y prime intercept like for that one case then you will draw the y prime intercept first because corresponding to that you will get a non-infinity result while for the other two you will get the infinity so infinities uh, uh, are dealt at the end and we'll deal with the ones which are not infinity first okay so that's x prime intercept which is one so x prime intercept means uh, from origin one unit along the x direction which means to the other corner of the unit cell which is this point okay this is one of the point on the plane now we have got this uh, point and by using this point we can draw the whole plane along with this information now the y prime intercept is infinity so what you have to do is to draw the parallel lines um, from this point okay from this point along the y direction y positive y direction okay so from this point we'll draw the parallel line along the y direction which is this direction to the co other corner of the unit cell up to the other corner of the unit cell okay now this is another point on the plane after that since the z intercept is infinity from these two points you will draw parallel lines along the positive z direction which is like that 
okay ending without the corner of the unit cell and also like that okay and we'll join these two lines these two points together in order to form a close figure of a plane and here we go this is the plane 100 zero zero. all right and this is the uh, front wall of the cube all right and i hope you got the method now we'll get to know the method for the negative miller indices problem here the x index is negative 2 bar 1 2 okay it's bar over 2 because it's black pencil maybe it's not quite visible but uh, it's 2 bar 1 2 these are the miller indices of the plane that we are going to draw and the x index is negative so, so the origin shifting is required here the rule is very simple and it will be applicable to all kind of planes you are drawing okay even if it is the uh, miller indices of a direction and if it is if they are negative then the rule for origin shifting uh, that we use here uh, is used there too for origin shifting while drawing the directions okay and i will display the rule step by step and you will understand it by uh, watching the problems you know you cannot uh, at first understand it completely so let me first draw the cube while drawing the planes in a cube um, try to keep all these lengths equal to each other okay if they are not uh, equal to each other and one of them is shorter and the other one is quite longer then the shape of the plane will not come uh, accurately okay and the issue will arise and uh, in other cases when uh, the miller indices is not not zero the issue can arise okay so this is one of the tips that you should keep in mind in, in drawing the directions that's not quite important uh, if the shape of the cube uh, the lengths are equal to each other or not the issue doesn't arise there but the issue uh, will arise in case of the uh, drawing of plane okay uh, so yeah now first of all uh, this was the all positive origin let me call it as o okay and since the x index is negative what you have to do is to shift the origin uh, by one unit along the x direction because the x index was negative okay whenever uh, the x index is negative regardless of this numerical value okay this numerical value doesn't hold anything uh, in deciding the position of the origin okay if it has been seven bar uh, one bar or three bar or two bar or whatever the value is that doesn't matter it's x index and it is negative that matters only okay so whenever the index is negative you have to shift the origin starting from the all positive origin uh, to a uh, uh, by one unit along that direction which is uh, having a negative miller index okay if two of the indexes indices are negative what you have to do is starting from the origin you will shift the origin by one unit along one direction then from that point onwards okay continue uh, from that points onward that from that point onwards you have to shift the origin one more time along that direction for example if x and y index would have been negative then i will shift the origin from that point along the x direction there then along the y direction by one unit there so that one point would have been the final origin okay if the y index and the x index both of them would have been negative so the process continues um, depending upon which one of the indices are uh, which of the indices are negative okay so the process will be more clear to you when uh, we will solve the other problems okay so first of all the x index is negative so i will shift the origin starting from all positive origin uh, to uh, by one unit along the x direction which is this point okay since the other indices are positive that is why no more shifting is required and this is the final origin that we will use to draw that uh, plane so let me um designate the axis lines because axis lines are very important we'll, we have to draw the intercepts and intercepts are the points on the axis lines not any other lines but axis on axis lines so this one line joining uh, that is connecting the origin is the positive y axis y prime axis since the origin is o prime and we'll use a primed l uh, symbol so this one is the negative x prime axis since the x index was negative okay and this is the positive z prime axis okay the lines that are connected to the origin are the axis lines and we have designated their names all right after uh, deciding the position of origin uh, we need to find out the intercepts of the plane now to find out the intercepts of the plane Two bar one two. We have to take inverse of each of the index. 
because in finding out the Miller indices from, uh, of the planes, we take the inverse of original intercepts of the plane. Okay, so to find out the plane from Miller indices, we have to do the reverse process, which is to take the inverse of uh, the Miller indices again to get the intercepts. So these are the intercepts minus two, one, and two. The operation to be performed is taking inverse and inverse of minus 2 is minus 1 by 2 inverse of 1 is again 1 inverse of 2 is 1 by 2 okay so these these are the intercept this is x prime intercept because the origin that we will use to draw the plane is primed that is why we are using primed uh, names here so this is the y prime intercept and this is the z prime intercept all right so the x prime intercept is minus 1 by 2 which means from origin um along this direction one means from one corner to the other corner of the unit cell half of it is like there okay it's minus one by two here and one along y prime um direction so from starting from a region again not from this point onwards it's intercepts and they're always drawn on the axis lines from so from origin uh, one unit along the y direction which is this point so this is another point on the plane okay and the next one is the half unit along the z direction and starting from a region again uh, here somewhere like there it's the point on origin okay now we'll join the three uh, three points together to get the plane okay joining these two lines together by straight lines um yeah something like that okay a triangular type of shape and shading it this was the plane okay and the more accurate your cube shape is the more uh, beautiful uh, plane shape you will get okay so that is the plane 2 bar 1 2 all right so next problem is uh, when the y index is negative and that one case is 3 1 bar 3 okay let us do that one now so here is the next problem okay it's 3 1 bar 3 the y index is negative and let me draw a nice little cube <laughs> okay so uh, the all positive origin is this one point that's the all positive origin now the y index is negative and you have to shift the origin uh, from all positive point uh, to the other corner of the unit cell along the y direction since the y index is negative so we'll shift it uh, along this direction to the other corner of the unit cell which is this point okay so this is the new region o prime that we will be using to draw the plane okay so this is the new region and this is one of the line connecting to the origin point this is another line and this is uh, the third line this is the z prime axis positive z prime axis this is positive y uh, sorry x prime axis this is positive x prime axis and this is negative y prime axis since the um, y index was negative okay so now uh, we'll take the inverse okay you have to write the same thing that i wrote uh, for the previous problems when you are like solving it for uh, exam so we'll take the inverse of the miller indices in order to find out the intercepts of the plane so inverse of 3 is 1 by 3 inverse of minus 1 is again minus 1 inverse of 3 is uh, 1 by 3 so this is the x prime intercept this is y prime intercept and this is the z prime intercept okay so x prime intercept is 1 by 3 so from origin or um, new origin uh, 1 by 3 is the x intercept so we'll divide this whole length this whole length from one corner to the other corner of the unit cell is 1 and we'll divide it into 3 equal power to get the one third part so this is roughly that okay and this is the one third part so this is one of the point on the plane this one okay next is a uh, minus one intercept for the y direction so from origin new origin okay this is the new origin uh, again starting from the origin one unit along y direction which is this minus one okay so this is the another point on the plane this one point and these two points are the points on the plane now the third one is one by three along the z direction so 
uh, this whole length from one corner to the other corner of the unit cell starting from the origin okay uh, you always draw these points on the axis lines and they are always drawn starting from the origin okay so starting from origin we will divide this whole length into three equal parts equal parts and this is the point one by three okay this one this one and this one these three are uh, points are the points on the plane and we will join these three points together in order to uh, get the plane whose miller indices is 3 1 bar 3 okay so we'll join these three points together by straight lines and here we go oh. okay it's on this point we'll shade uh, it okay with the same color and yeah that's the plane 3 1 bar 3 okay that's done here's the next problem here the z index is negative okay and uh, first of all we'll draw the cube okay here's a small little cube because all of the lengths are one so that is why the small cube will surface and um, this is the all positive origin okay and you have to shift the origin because the z index is negative and since the z index is negative that is why we have to shift the origin from all positive point uh, by one unit along the z direction so this is all positive origin point and one unit means to the other corner of the unit cell along the z direction which is this point so since the other two indices are not negative that is why this is the final origin okay and this origin will be used to draw the plane um, okay and the axis lines are this one line is the negative z prime uh, in axis okay since the z index was negative and this is the positive x prime axis okay since the origin is prime that is why we are using primed word and this is the y prime axis positive y prime axis and uh, now we we need to find out the intercepts of the plane so to find out the intercepts of the plane plane 1 0 1 bar we have to take the inverse of each of the index so you have to write it right there okay now we'll take the inverse of each of the index and these are the three indices 1 0 minus 1 so taking inverse inverse of 1 is 1 inverse of 0 is infinity inverse of minus 1 is minus 1 again so uh, we deal with the infinity intercept at the end and first we'll consider the ones which are not infinity this is the x prime intercept this is y prime intercept and this is the z prime intercept okay so x prime intercept is 1 so starting from the origin from the new region that uh, uh, we have selected um, one point one unit along the x direction okay since x intercept is one so the point one is to the other corner of the unit cell along the x direction which is this point so this is one of the point on the plane all right so the next is the z prime intercept which is minus one so starting from the origin again okay not from that point onward starting from origin all again because uh, intercept is a point on the axis line okay that is starting from origin you will uh, get that point so it's minus one which means to the other corner of the unit cell along the negative z direction which is this point okay so this is another point on the plane all right since the y intercept is infinity uh, so uh, we'll deal with that by drawing a parallel line from each of these two points that we have got okay for the plane um, along the y direction so, so from this point we'll draw the parallel line along the y direction and this parallel line will end up to the other corner of the unit cell okay so this is the y direction and we'll draw a parallel line along the y direction which is starting from this point that we have got uh, from these intercepts okay these two intercept points so parallel lines along the y direction will stop to the other corner of the unit cell here okay this is another point on the plane now okay so this is another point on the plane and we'll draw parallel along parallel lines along the y direction which is along this line okay and we'll end up at the other corner of the unit which is this point now these four points are the points of the plane and we will uh, join these lines together this line with this one okay and we'll shade these this is the plane one zero one bar all right this is the plane one zero one bar okay this is done now and now we'll do the case when two of the indices are negative 
here comes the next problem it's one bar one one bar x and z indices are negative okay so let me draw the cube first it all starts with a all positive origin which is this point this is the all positive origin that cannot be used for drawing this plane okay we want to draw this plane uh, inside a single unit cell and for that purpose we have to shift the origin and x index is negative so first of all starting from the uh, all positive origin we'll move one unit along the x direction which is this point okay regardless of this numerical value it could have been two bar three bar or whatever it is we always move one unit along that direction which is having a negative value in this index okay so uh, from origin one unit along the x direction and this could not be the final origin point because the uh, z index is also negative so from this point onwards we have to shift the origin one unit along the z direction since that one has uh, the negative index so that one point is the final origin because the y index is positive and no more shifting is required along the y direction so this is, is the final origin okay and this is a new origin that will be used to draw this plane and let us now draw the parallel um, draw the axis lines and they are the three lines that are joining this point and these are the three lines okay and these lines joining uh, that origin point is are the axis lines so this one line is the negative x prime axis okay this one line is positive y axis y prime axis and this one line downward is z prime axis okay so negative z prime axis now next what we have to do is to draw the intercepts and uh, to find out the intercepts and to find out the intercepts to find out intercepts you have to write this line either here or here okay i'm writing it here because um, i have some vacant space right there and i want to make use of all the space uh, to find out the intercept uh, of plane um, one bar one one bar we have to take the inverse of each of the index you will write it okay so uh, after that uh, write these miller indices here write the operation that you are going to process that you are going to uh, uh, do uh, that is taking inverse okay we'll take the inverse of minus one which is minus one again taking inverse of one which is one again taking inverse of minus one which is minus one again okay so this is the x prime intercept this is the y prime intercept and this is the z prime intercept okay these are the intercepts and they are drawn on the axis lines Okay, intercepts are the points on the axis lines and these are the axis lines okay so x prime intercept is minus one okay so starting from this new region x prime intercept is minus one means to the other corner of the unit cell along the negative x direction which is this this point this one pretty little point now next intercept is y prime intercept starting from origin again okay all over again and along y prime direction to the other corner of the unit cell which is this point another point on the plane and starting from origin again z intercept is minus one which means to the other corner of the unit cell along the negative x direction or negative y di negative z direction and this is this one negative z prime direction and this is another point on the plane this one this one and this one these are the three points on the plane now we'll join these three lines or oh, sorry these three points together like that okay and this pizza slice is our plan and if you want then you can eat it also <laughs> all right so this is done here is the next problem here the two of the indices are negative which are the x and the y index so uh, we'll do that one problem also and after that we'll do the all negative MLA indices case okay so this is our cute little cube okay and I doubt that it will create a problem because it's very little <laughs> so yeah this is the origin all right and uh, we have to shift the origin okay so the x index is negative and the y index is negative so starting from the all positive origin we have to shift the origin one unit along the x direction six, since the x index was negative okay and that shifting is always done by one unit okay regardless of this numerical values that is there these numerical values doesn't affect the position of origin that we select okay the shifting of origin is always done by one unit okay regardless of this value the negative nature only matters so from this point 
to the other corner of the unit cell along the x direction we have shifted the origin now this is not the final origin point because the y index is also negative so we have to shift the origin uh, onwards from this point uh, along the y direction by one unit which is this point okay so this is the final point uh, final origin o prime that we will be using to draw this plane okay so this is the final origin and let us draw the axis lines because axis, axis lines are very important in drawing the planes and because we are uh, given with the intercepts and intercepts are the points on the uh, axis lines this is negative y prime axis okay this is the negative x prime axis and this is the positive uh, z prime axis since the z index was positive so to find the intercepts of 2 bar 1 bar 2 we have to take the inverse of each of the index you will write it right there uh, and these are the three indices write the operation that you are going to perform on them which is taking inverse taking inverse of minus 2 gives minus 1 by 2 taking inverse of minus 1 gives minus 1 taking inverse of 2 gives 1 by 2 this is the x prime intercept this is y prime intercept and this is the z prime intercept these are the intercepts so x prime intercept is minus 1 by 2 so this is the origin new origin and uh, minus 1 by 2 means this whole length is 1 okay from one corner to the other corner is 1 and half of it is right there okay this is one of the point on the plane next is y intercept which is 1 here okay so uh, minus 1 here so from origin 1 unit means to the other corner of the unit cell along the negative y prime direction which is this point this is another point on the p lane and um, z intercept is z prime intercept is 1 by 2 which means from origin all over again 1 by 2 unit which means the half of it uh, maybe right there like there okay which is this okay now we'll join these three lines together to get a cute little plane which is obtained like that okay so yeah this is the plane uh, 2 bar 1 bar 2 okay and yeah this is done now so here's the last problem that we are going to do okay so yeah this is all negative case and let us draw the cube first and then we'll shift the origin okay okay so this is the cube and please cooperate uh, with me with the background voices because these are my family members and, and uh, they like to speak when i when i'm making video you know so <laughs> i can't do anything of them i have told them to stay silent but they can't okay uh, yeah so this is the all positive origin let us call it with o okay let us call it o and um, since the x index is negative we have to shift the origin one unit along the x direction which is this point now this cannot be the final origin point because the y index is also negative so from this point onwards we have to shift the origin along the positive y direction which is this direction okay to the other corner of the unit cell here and since the z index is also negative you have to shift the origin onwards from this point along the positive z direction which is this to the other corner of the unit cell which is this one point so this is the final origin o prime okay and the axis lines are these three lines connecting the origin o prime okay this is negative z prime axis this is negative x prime axis and this is the negative y prime axis all right so to find out the intercepts the intercepts of p lane 2 bar 1 bar 2 bar we have to take the inverse of each of the intercepts so it's minus 2 minus 1 and minus 2 inverse of minus 2 is minus 1 by 2 it's minus 1 it's minus 1 by 2 for z intercept and this is the x prime intercept this is the y prime intercept and this is the z prime intercept okay now let us draw the plane um, okay uh, using these intercepts so it's a minus 1 by 2 as x prime intercept so from this origin a uh, half unit along the negative x direction which is this point okay and minus one along the y prime direction which is from origin starting from origin as this point the other corner of the inner cell all right and 
minus 1 by 2 along the z prime so from origin this is the half unit along the negative z direction this whole length is one half of it is here so here now let us join these three points together <laughs> to get the plane and yeah that's our p line that's our plane and yeah it's done now okay i hope you got the method and uh, if you have any queries if you have any confusions you can ask me in comment section and like share and subscribe and share with share it with your fellows with everyone who can take benefit of that channel because it has a lot of potential to help all of you guys so yeah goodbye